So is Ozempic face real? Absolutely. We are noticing not only tremendous changes in people's diabetes and weight loss, but tremendous changes in the structural components of people's faces. And in today's YouTube video, we are gonna focus on Ozempic, its impact on the face, its changes, how we treat it, as it is a major trending feature right now all over the social media. If you like this video, please comment. Let us know what other topics you wanna to hear, and please like this video. Welcome to the center. My name is Dr. Babak Azizadeh. I'm a facial plastic surgeon that specializes in facelifts, facial reanimation, and rhinoplasty, located in Beverly Hills, California. Here, we talk about all things facial plastic surgery. Welcome to the channel. Ozempic is a novel diabetes medication that basically does two things. Number one, it induces the pancreas to release more insulin. Insulin brings down blood sugar levels, but at the same time, it also slows down the gut. And as a result, the absorption changes, resulting in weight loss. So Ozempic even though it was approved by the FDA for diabetes, has been trending and used for weight loss approach significantly, and in fact, probably more often than just for diabetes. So although Ozempic started as a major trend in the celebrities and East Coast, West Coast, it's now all over the country. Is it safe? The FDA has conclusively done a lot of studies to show its efficacy and safety for diabetes but no definitive studies have been done for weight loss management. And there are some potential complications like nausea, pancreatitis, which is an inflammation of our pancreas. And there have been also some uh, retina issues, some cases of uh, thyroid cancer. So it is not a drug that should be just used uh, frivolously. You really need to work with your physician make sure that they know your history really well and it's used appropriately and correctly. So for individuals who lose a tremendous amount of weight while on Ozempic, several changes of the body and face can happen because the number one thing that happens is we lose a tremendous amount of fat. And if someone's also not exercising, their muscles can atrophy as well. So it's a combination, but mainly the fat on our body gets atrophied with any type of massive weight loss, whether ozempic or gastric bypass or major exercise and diet uh, induced weight loss. So the things that we see on the face and we call them ozempic face is gauntness because fat compartments really structurally support the face and keep our face full. And as those fat compartments atrophy, you get hollowness, sagging, and a tremendous amount of change. And it almost looks like you've aged by 10 years when you have those changes of fat compartments in the face. Same thing happens in the buttocks and body and the tummy area as individuals lose a tremendous amount of weight. What if I stop taking Ozempic? And again, I am not an obesity doctor. I am not an endocrinologist. I'm not an internist. However, based on the literature, you cannot stop Ozempic all of a sudden cold turkey because studies have shown a significant increase in blood sugar levels that can lead to major complications. So you need to work with your provider and healthcare provider, the person who prescribed this for you, make sure they have expertise in its utilization. They work with you in determining how to come off of Ozempic and transition. You also need to work with a nutritionist because you need to maintain the nutritional and the weight benefits if you are using it for that. Otherwise, you will regain all the weight and maybe even more. Okay, so we've talked a lot about Ozempic. Now, what happens when people get Ozempic face? What is the best treatment? And it really depends, as always. Younger individuals uh, who lose a tremendous amount of weight may just need some fillers individuals in their 40s and 50s as you lose skin elasticity may need fat grafting and or a deep plain face and neck lift because the loose skin may not be able to kind of go back out as we 
replenish the volume. So the aging process is accelerated and just like how we treat individuals and personalize their treatment, we have to personalize treatments for the ozempic face. But the ozempic facelift, fat grafting, fillers are really the critical treatment for people who want to look really like themselves without the kind of gauntness and the looseness of skin on their face. Can an ozempic face be prevented? Can someone do something about it? That's a hard thing to do because the, the way that the face responds to massive weight loss is atrophy of the fat. So that could be gradual or it could be very rapid. So I would say work with your dermatologist, plastic surgeon, or facial plastic surgeon and see how they can guide you as you're beginning to lose this volume, maybe with some subtle fillers and or fat grafting. And obviously, if it's really, really dramatic, again, we're back to the deep plane facelift, neck contouring, and more surgical related treatments. Now, what if someone has an ozempic face and they don't wanna have fillers? They don't wanna have fat grafting or lifts. Is it reversible? I always tell people, focus on your health and wellness. If you're using Ozempic for diabetes and your doctor has not said this is necessary for your health, just do it. Your health and wellness is the most important thing. So I would say the answer to this is make sure that you are taking and talking to your doctor before determining anything related to the ozempic face or ozempic butt or any of the other related side effects. Ozempic is a very powerful and trending drug and it's gonna be around. And I would say the most important thing, number one, whether you wanna take it or not, is talk to an expert physician about ozempic, why you wanna take it, why it's right for you. That's the number one thing. And number two is if you have some of these changes in your face or body related to weight loss, um, just work with your plastic surgeon, facial plastic surgeon, dermatologist to just make sure that, you know, that aspect of it is taken care of. But I think together with your physicians, you'll be able to really manage this. And I hope you've enjoyed this session. And please, again, comment and let us know what you thought about it and uh, what other topics you want to hear about. Please also follow us on our social media, our Instagram and Facebook. We have a lot of information, a little bit shorter format on those uh, social media channels. Mm -hmm.